All right, and uh, man, I've got a second monitor now, so that's great. So I don't have to have the awkward start in my videos. But now we've got the return of the Icelandic fighter Gunnar Nelson. Gunnar Nelson was actually um, trying to call out Kamzat Shamayev earlier, but now he's going to be facing Claudio Silva. And I think this is a great uh, comeback fight for Gunnar Nelson. He hasn't fought for two years and three months uh, since he lost to Gilbert Burns, who is now a title challenger top ranked opponent in the welterweight division same as leon edwards about to be a title challenger top ranked fighter in the welterweight division and uh win of alex Oliveira, which is a pretty good look uh a loss to santiago pontanivio once again top 15 guy and alan joe band submission win as well so gunnar nelson has been away for quite a while he fights at spg island and he's on his way to come back and he's fighting a, another submission specialist, Claudio Silva. I think he's got 10 submission wins on his record. His most notable wins. Probably coming over Danny Roberts. I would say he's probably his best. Oh, sorry, I lied. He's got a, a split decision win over Leon Edwards, which is a great look. But he's been fighting in the UFC since 2014. I think his best wins are definitely against Cole Williams and Danny Roberts, his most recent ones. But uh, since then, he's been on a little bit of a losing streak. He lost to James Krause, who was a bit more of a trainer than a fighter at the moment. But still a very great fighter, nonetheless. And he lost to Court McGee, which uh, hasn't really been aging too badly, let's be honest. Uh, Court McGee uh, just beat Ramiz Brahimaj uh, quite badly. So uh, now he's fighting Gunnar Nelson. Gunnar Nelson also has a lot of submission wins on his record. 13 submission wins, 1 decision win, and 3 KO wins. I don't think this fight is going to go the distance. I think um, we're going to see... A submission win for Gunnar Nelson. And uh, also a little note. We, let's get Al Albert Tumanov back in the UFC, man. Um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so Gunnar Nelson. I'm, I think I'm going to pick Gunnar Nelson for this one. He's uh, 33 years old. He's fighting the almost 40-year-old Claudio Silva at this point. On his first two-fight losing streak on of his career. I don't know if this is the right matchup for Claudio at this point, man. I feel like he's taking up a jump in competition. Gunnar Nelson, uh, he's been fighting high-level guys. And uh, he's definitely going to be looking to return to like the top 25, top 15 of the UFC. And I think this is a good start. Let's get a win for Gunnar Nelson against Claudio Silva on the UFC London card. And uh, yeah, let's let's make it happen. I think Gunnar Nelson's going to win this one. I think he's going to win by submission. A lot of people picking decision for Gunnar Nelson. Um, Gunnar Nelson has one decision win in his career. I think there's a much better chance of a submission or even some sort of KO, TKO. Um, as well, so very similar height and reach for these guys. I think it's a great matchup. Gunnar Nelson, a lot younger, hasn't fought for quite a while. We'll see how um, that looks. How if he's got any ring rust or anything. But it's good to have him back, and I cannot wait to watch him fight again.